Now, you remember the rules. Each of you will be shown an ancient artefact. All you've got to do is tell us if the said object is trash, say, under $1,000, or treasure. Uh, Braun, how about you kick us off? <laughs> Braun, you're off to the UK for some antiques roacher. He's a scary-looking fellow, isn't he? He is indeed, isn't he? Kind of found him on an online auction site. So I did a small bit of research. Um, it seemed to indicate that he came from Java, um, dated uh, maybe the 11th or 12th century, but I'm unsure of that. You're right about a lot of those things. Mm. And his name is Batara Kala. Yes. And it is the Javanese name yes. for the Hindu god Shiva the Destroyer in their mythology. Instead of keeping humans on the straight and narrow, yes. he started eating people. OK, that's, in it. <laughs> that's quite interesting. <laughs> and it's got a lot of casting faults, which you expect to see in something that's nearly a 1,000 years of old. Of course, yeah. An auction valuation for this yes. would be Oh, Bron, is that statue from Java trash or treasure? A thousand years old. Mm. Did you make it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> not, uh, not there at the creation. There's, you know. Um, but anyway, Bron, what are you, um, what are you thinking? Uh, look, it eats people. Um, I was one step off that on the cruise. OK. Um, <laughs> he, he, there's a few things there, cos he's saying it's a bit damaged, it's a bit sort of old and yeah. scratched. But could that After be a mistake? After a thousand years, wear and tear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's treasure. Come on, Tommy. Big. Let's see if you're wrong. Come on. Between one and two thousand pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> treasure, Bron. Points to yours. Well done. Two thousand pounds. All right, Guy, you've got the general idea. You're heading to Texas for an unusual storage locker find. You know, this is really a classic prop for Halloween. This is what's called the shaking butler. The great thing about this one is he's motion activated. I think it's right here at his belly button. Let's see. Yeah, I see his motion. Oh, that's right. the sweet spot. Look at his head shaking. Yeah. With the shape he's in, what is my butler worth? Well, somebody has punched this guy in the nose and he's got a crack along here. This, from the shaking, has worn down the foam some. The fact that he's still got his carnation is huge because they usually come right off. You might could get... Stop it there. Guy, is that shaking butler prop trash or treasure? Well, it's, I think it's an outrage he's selling it at all. It's, it's <laughs> a family heirloom. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like you can fix the nose in that little mark. I feel like she's trying to get him down. Yeah. I want to say it's treasure mm. because I think it's worth more than $1,000. But I feel like in the world of this show that they're on, this guy's going to get called trash, which is no way to treat a man of his advanced years. <laughs> Guy, let's see if you're right. Six hundred dollars for it. Good call. Six hundred. Find you six hundred dollars US. It's worth about yeah, ten yeah, grand right. Australian, yeah. but still, <laughs> by the rules of the segment. Well done, guy. You got trash. Sam, staying in Texas. Storage Wars stars Ricky and Bubba are seeking an expert appraisal. Well, what do you think? Well, I can tell by the holster right now. It looks old. It's a Colt 1849. Is 1849 the date, or that's just a model? Well, the serial number on this, 19039, dates it to, like, 1860, which would have been last year production. So this is not, like, a reproduction or something like that? No, sir. It's, it's, real. it's, it's the real McCoy. That's 150 years old. Yes, sir. The grips are excellent, with the just exception is one little knock right here. You know, on these older guns here, certain markings would greatly increase the value of these guns if it was military marked. But, sorry, this one is not military marked. I would value this gun at... Whoa. Sam, is Ricky and Bubba's old gun trash or treasure? <laughs> Ricky and Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> 18, um, 1860, the gun. Yeah, but, but it's, he said, but it's not military issue, but it's, you know... You, mm. He said it's not military issue because if it was military issued, probably would be worth more if it was involved in the Civil War, Tom, yes, that I think believe started in 1861. Which side, Pang? Which way? I think, Tommy, we know you're a big Confederate. Thank you. you know? <laughs> um, Ricky and Bubba, what do you think? Are they onto something a, special? A gun from 1860 that's in pretty good condition, yeah. uh, not military marked. I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna r repeat everything I heard in the clip. We just play the clip again if you want, but no, no. What do you reckon? Well, it's a gun from 1860. Yeah, I'm I think say... we've, we've established that. <laughs> and not using the military yeah. tongs. <laughs> I'll, I'll need an answer, Sam. I'm gonna say a gun that's 150 years old would be a treasure. Let's see if you're right. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Wow. wow. 
All right, Claire, you've got the general idea. We're heading back to the UK for your precious antiquity. She belonged to my grandmother and she used to be kept in the back of a very dark, very cluttered cupboard. Yes. She's standing on a little velvet covered box which contains all the gubbins. But I'm going to just give her a bit of a wind at the back there. Turn the knob. And I think that if she came up, oh, perhaps a figure of... Claire, what's going through your head? <laughs> Look, I, I think she'd probably be worth approximately $1 for every child's soul she's taken. <laughs> so... Scary, scary yeah. toy. Imagine if you had a child that looked like that. You'd never sleep again. That's absolutely. You, you'd, you'd be putting it at the back <laughs> of a very dark, very cluttered cover. It well, really is a frightening, a frightening doll, but from a different era. Our thoughts? Well, I stand by my original mathematics, so it's got to be at least $30,000. Wow. <laughs> Might have gone a little hard there, but okay. uh, let's... Treasure, please. Let's see if you're right. Uh, between 1800 and perhaps oh. just over £2,000. There you go. Very that good. is treasure. Well, well done. All right, finally, Ed. Hello. We're off to Miami for your unique item. This is a beautiful piece. Um, it is solid brass, real beak and real feathers. Oh, they looked real. They are real. Late 1800s, early 1900s. <laughs> French, of course. The mechanism on the bird is a brass mechanical insert. The bird will turn and sing. Have you tried it? No, we haven't. We haven't not. tried it? No. Okay, let's look at the bottom of it. Okay, no, it's missing the mechanism. There's a little mechanism that you turn right here, mm -hmm. and that is what you would turn. Kind of like winds it. Yeah, like thing. a little key. As it is, it's worth Weird. Is that mechanical birdcage trash or treasure? Well, I think we know where the bird flu started, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> so they're real birds? Are they real no, birds? No, it's all a bit fake. And, oh. it's, and then she kept saying things that... Because I know a lot about the live bird black market. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get you anything you want. i got, like, 18 penguins in my garage Thank right you. now. Thank you. This is, this is not the live... Ah, uh, that's trash. That's rubbish. Why would anyone want just two crap old French birds that can barely sing? I mean, those people... And those people are trailer trash, so they should know. OK. <laughs> He's gone in hard. He's locked it in his trash. Ed, let's see if you're right. Here we go. About $2,000. Right. Okay. Oh, that's treasure mm. sad. I, I would like to retract wow. everything you just said about those fine people. <laughs> <laughs> and all too soon, that brings us to the end of... Special treasure.